And look who joins us now. Newly elected Congressman Ron Estes. Now the Republican candidate, oh, not the candidate, no, you won the election just the other night uh, from Kansas. Now the Wall Street Journal this morning says uh, that um, uh, your, your election was a relatively small margin and that um, you're, you're, it was called a warning in Wichita, a warning to other Republicans. What do you make of that? Well, I think one of the things when you think about a special election is it, that the numbers will look a lot different than a presidential election in, in terms of the turnout. Presidential election always has more voters out. Uh, in a special election, you're pushing a lot to get a lot of voters out. Uh, we were thankful for President Trump that he made some calls into the district and, and encouraged people to get out and vote and vote on April 11th. So it's really a smaller group. We were probably in the low 20s is what the final numbers we end up in terms of turnout. So it's really comparing apples and oranges. But you, but you needed that last minute help, including help from President Trump, because of the performance of the Republican Party and voter disappointment over health care reform and tax reform. Well, I, I think there was a little bit of uh, a disappointment that, that, you know, as Republicans now, you know, we, we do need to govern and we need to make sure that, uh, that we get things accomplished over the next two years. Uh, but uh, t typical turnout is, uh, you know, the, the, the results that we did and the things that we did in the last few days are what you typically do in an election, you know, in terms of having rallies, having uh, phone, uh, phone calls to get uh, people out to the polls, ha having literature drops. That's what we were doing. So those are the typical things that you do in any election, and so uh, that's what we were doing then. Um, you, uh, Ted Cruz, Senator Cruz, paid a visit to you and helped you in your campaign. Uh, would you call yourself a, a future member of the uh, Freedom Caucus? Well, I'm not planning on joining uh, many of the caucuses when I get there, uh, including the Freedom Caucus. One, one of the things I want to do is uh, get an understanding of what's going on and, and be able to help get some results. You know, my background as an engineer and in the business community is, is working on solving problems, and, and that's what I really want to work on while I'm there. Would, would you have voted for the health care reform plan? that was withdrawn on that Friday three or four weeks ago? I think the problem with the health care plan that was out there was it didn't go far enough. But you wouldn't you know, have voted for it so can, you, You'd say no, uh, you would not have voted for it. I, I, I like some of the things that they're looking at now in terms of improving the plan, so it would have been difficult to vote for that. You see the frustration on the part of voters, and for many, many people, the Republican Party failed in its first test, first legislative test, and now looks pretty bad. Well, I think we, we did see a little bit of drop in enthusiasm uh, amongst uh, Republicans and independents uh, around the, uh, the vote and, and the slowdown in that, uh, that process. I understand now there's a lot of work behind the scenes to, to actually work to improve the bill. And, and uh, you know, as Republicans, since we do have a majority in the House and the Senate uh, and the presidency, uh, American people are expecting us to, to perform and to deliver. Yeah. And that's what uh, I want to make sure we do. We're Regardless there. of what's in the health care reform plan that eventually makes its way, would you vote for it? Just regardless of what's in it, yes, regardless I'll... of the principles, do, would you vote for it? Well, I want to vote for a plan that repeals Obamacare. And we need to come up with something that works for, for individuals across the country. You know, back before Obamacare came out, uh, health insurance worked for 85 to 90 percent of Americans. It was that 10 to 15 percent that didn't have health insurance and therefore were having trouble getting health care. And instead of focusing on getting health care for those individuals, uh, Obamacare basically broke the health insurance system. And so now we need to get back to a point where people can get health insurance that they want at a price that they want and we still figure out ways to, uh, to help with health care for all Americans. Yeah, well, in the meantime, we've still got Obamacare for the foreseeable future. But Congressman Estes, congratulations on your win and thank you very much for joining us today, sir. Much obliged to you.